this place, this venue is right on the beach. You walk out those back doors, off on the right of your screen, you see a little tunnel there. Uh, there's beach sand right back there. So when they say it's on the beach, it's on the beach. We have four pro stock heats coming up. They take the top four to the feature tomorrow night and one Mad Dog advances. And I don't know if they're picking a Mad Dog when he's earned it or they'll announce it afterward. I'm not quite sure. Coke Promotions also does a turkey derby, so. And if there's no one standing out, they won't pick anybody. So you have to earn it. They're taken, not handed out. Metallica sign. Curtis Hines, the 19 car from Petersburg, Illinois, pulling on the track right now. See if he'll get in the throttle a little bit here and check this track out. It's polished concrete, has a thin film of soapy water on it. So. Jordan Heiss from New London, Wisconsin. Another cheesehead, like me. Number 91 pulling on the track right now. South Bend's Indiana, number 229 of Chad Nugent. Had a little picture of the station wagon on the Facebook page today. The 969 from Battletown, Kentucky, Austin Cell. Just pulled on. With number 212 of Matthew Kingree from Woodstock, Virginia. We have the 14 of Bubba Eaton. Very familiar number. Box Ford. Some Lincolns. This is an 80s and up class, folks. We're going to start up nose to nose here, obviously, in the middle of the track. A lot, lot of different tire strategies here from P rated stuff to skid steers to rally car tires to some trailer slicks. Uh, I think a track like this will accept about anything, I think. From Portland, Indiana, the number 107, Rich Geringer. The 332 of Luke Klein. And last but not least, Tony Godwin from Monroe, Indiana, the eight car. Good dude right there. That's nine per heat, taken four. That wall is just shorter than the bumper height on these cars, just so you know that. So definitely be a challenge to uh, stay off that thing with the front. Now, for those of you at home, this is Facebook free preview from Daytona Beach, Florida. Watch this heat right now live for free. Tony Godwin, the first one to move. Everybody else is waiting. Looks like it's definitely going to be a north and south kind of track. It's narrower than it, than it is long.
like we have a part, maybe a fan, fan blade, belt, etc. Et <laughs> Came off of one car and I think off the 107. Get that cleaned up, go back to green here. For those of you that have been on tracks like this before, as the heat goes on, it actually dries out a little bit, gets a little slimy on the top, it leaves the, the soap there, gets rid of the water, so that'll definitely uh, kind of move a little quicker as we go. Come on, back to green. It was just a pulling. Tony Godwin never had a loss for uh, noise. And aggression for that matter. He has 550s on the front and solids on the back. We have one right out of the track. I think the rule was you can get pushed out as long as you make an immediate entrance back into the track and you don't use it for safety. You quickly make your way back in. Trey Strong, one of our officials. Crack the sticks together, trying to get these guys to keep it. Matt Gingry and Tony Godwin locked together there. Matt pulling right over the tire, and they got stuck. There's the concrete wall. Godwin and Bubba Eaton have been going at it since the start. Not real aggressively, but uh, they look like they got each other's number. And of Heat 1 provided by Jeffrey's Fab Farm, pro stock class. Also got to say thanks to DerbyNation.tv, NLR, Derby Parks, DC Headers, and Jeff Cole here. Looks like the guys have a lot of respect for the wall. Keeping away from there and, you know, not really using it to eliminate drivers and kind of respecting that, which is great because we'd all like to come here again. I think we're going to throw the red to put that wall back together. That's like the fourth hit in the same spot, and it looks like after about two, it starts to break a hole in that wall so I think we're gonna have a little break here get that wall straightened out and rubbish nope looks like it was just for debris definitely a hole in that wall down there I think we're going to take a moment and use this to uh, have a second driver's meeting. It's never a good thing. See Mr. Braun down there. Handing out warnings along with Toast and, and uh, a couple others of the crew. And Billy. You guys going to have to pick up the pace. Jason said they're going to get one warning. Better get after it. 
Back to green here. Couple flat tires out there, but they don't seem to be having any effect on their car's performance. Kind of neat. Back to the 91, a little chewed up, but not bad. Ben Wheeler, too. Little warning on the driver's door over there. Bubba and Godwin mirroring each other. A couple of Indiana guys. Shouldn't be doing that. And we have a red flag again. And I believe they're taking Tony out for... Uh, his aggressive driving. I guess that's what uh, Jason Koch is looking for. Couple marks above the rest. Okay, well we have one out and one taken. The 212 on the left side of your screen. You can't see at the moment, it's a box Lincoln. No paint, Matthew Kingry from uh, Woodstock, Virginia, has retired. Still sitting in his car. Great view from down there. I think they are taking time now to fix that wall on the far left side of the screen where Matthew is. boys. Y'all want a derby in Florida. You gotta show them. After these heats, they get some plates on the frame, but right now they're pretty naked. Hump plate, and that's it. No bumper bracket. Uh, pretty bare naked from firewall forward, so I think that's some of the uh, patience that you see here. No one wants to bend there this many weeks. Billy Eastep, giving him the single to start moving. Seven cars. Seven cars still remain. Some of you are watching on Facebook. This is Facebook Live Preview. Streaming right now on Facebook Live Preview. Until the end of the season. Oh, we have a fire underneath the hood of the 332 of Luke Klein. Looks like a little tranny fluid. Probably burped out the tube a little bit. Doesn't look too uh, too mean. No oil on the header, maybe. Doesn't look like too much. Kind of dark, thicker smoke. So it's usually your sign of something oily. Luke is took a steer. He's gonna call her quits. Yet another warning to get moving. You can see Jason Coke, that guy right there in the middle of the screen on the bottom, barking orders. They give that guy a lot of credit. This is a huge venue, huge potential 
for him, kind of a big undertaking. A lot of moving parts in these these types of events. For those of you who haven't put on shows like this, it's uh, pr pretty stressful for guys like him, especially about right now. I think he's doing a great job so far. A lot of good cars here. Well, well, well prepared stuff. That's for sure. Good shot of Austin Sell. Got a flat left rear, but it doesn't seem to be hindering him a bit. As long as that rubber stays on there. Probably won't make much of a difference if it falls off. You can see it at home, but you can tell when certain cars touch a dry patch on the track. They kind of take off and then they fall on their face again when they hit something wet. It's pretty interesting to watch. A smoke coming out of the 19 car, Curtis Hines. Hopefully that won't slow down too much. Four-wheel brakes would be a, a benefit here, I think, if you could pull it off. Jordan Heiss seems to be uh, the man on the wrong team right now. Took a little beating there, but still ticking. A lot of black cars. Just noticed that. Like we still have six, uh, five, sorry. Five cars right now looking to eliminate another one. And that'll be the conclusion of heat one. And our live preview on Facebook. So if you like what you see, please order it. Got two nights of this also. Bubba Eaton with a great looking car right now. Pretty straight, picks his hits correctly. 
I think the stick just came down in the 91 car, so that puts us at four cars. So advancing to the future will be Bubba Eaton. Will be Austin Sell. The 19 car of Curtis Hines. And definitely the 229 of Ted, uh, Chad Nugent. Sorry. From my angle, it uh, I couldn't quite see it. But that's it for uh, Heat One. And uh, get these cars cleaned off the track. And So folks that are watching this free on Facebook, if you like what you see, please buy it. Yeah. More good stuff to come after this. Tony Godwin carrying his uh, pulley and his belt off the track. The fan blew up. The plastic went everywhere. And uh, earned a mad dog, so belt well spent. While they're cleaning this up, we're gonna take a break and we'll be right back. We're here in sunny Florida for a battle at Daytona Beach Demolition Derby. And I got a text from Todd Sayopa saying, hey, you gotta check out the ocean deck. We've got some really awesome food. So let's go in and check it out. Todd's friend Vernon is one of the owners here. He's actually from uh, Sciopa Racing's hometown of Rankin, Pennsylvania. Todd's been coming to the Ocean Deck since the 80s when he was in college, and it's been a local hotspot ever since. The Ocean Deck is known for great food, strong drinks, and live music with a beautiful ocean view. The most popular items on the menu are the mahi fish tacos, the mahi mahi sandwich, and the Monte Cristo, which is a local favorite. All right, can you need any mayonnaise or mustard? Um, I think we're all right. All right, thank enjoy. you. 